Hey guys, I'm Riz Grestar, and how about we play Franbo? So I don't know much about this game, aside from the fact that it is a horror action kind of game. Um, I think it's about a girl kind of dealing with mental problems, but I'm not sure. Uh, and that's very limited, what I know about this game. Um, but we needed something. Basically, yes, I'm kind of buying time because I want to play The Walking Dead Season 3, or New Frontier, or Final Frontier, whatever it's called, it's something like that, right? Um, but right now only two episodes are out when I'm recording this only two episodes of that are out And I want to play it once all of them are out I want to play it like right away once all of them are out But um, I don't want to have to wait for new episodes like I did with Batman Telltale series So if if you guys wanted to watch me play Walking Dead season 3 good news that is the plan um, But it's just not out yet, so I don't want to record it yet So for now we have Franbo. Um, I've had a, a number of people request this game too and um, I own it I guess I bought it at some point. I, I buy a lot of things on the off chance I might play them and I just forget about a lot. Um, so let's do it. New game. This game uses an autosave feature. Perfect. Okay then. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Good. I see my parents. They look happy. Aw, isn't that nice, everybody? They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat! It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. I guess because of the title, I had a cat on it in the basket, you know. Dark as the deepest night. Aw, it's Mr. Midnight! Oh, that's cute. My best friend. My only friend. Oh, Sad turn. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. I'm assuming Fran is a young girl. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Largely due to the very small sentences and simple thoughts presented within them. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. But, but then? Is there a butt coming? It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Hey, is it, there's a thing in the wi window! A strange creature outside my window! It, oh no. It's not a tree. I don't like it. It scares me. Mm. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming! Uh oh. I want to know what's wrong. Do you really, though? A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 ah, hmm, hmm, what happened? What is it, Mr. Midnight? Oh, Mr. Midnight's determined now. Or is he scared? Or both? Oh dear. Don't worry, it's a friendly monk. Fran, please follow my voice. Who is this? On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Oh, hello, Mr. Psychologist. Fran, how do you feel? Um, I'm fine, I guess. It's kind of a lie, but you know. Can I not? I have to click on that. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Um, I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. Um, I need my cat. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Yep. 
Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Oh no, my life is ruined. Oh, I click this. Okay. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? Straight up. Tell me what it is. See the desk? There's a little package for you. Okay. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. It's just package. This was my mother's purse. Uh Mmm, delightful. Open it. There's something inside. Uh, examine! Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Hmm. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. Period. She is worried about you. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you're out of control, young lady. <laughs> can I leave now? <laughs> yes, you can leave, but before you do it, it's time for your new medicine. Oh no, what medicine? I want to know. It's called Duotine, Duotine, oh. It will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Aw oh, man, what if I don't want it though? Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing actually, same visions as before. Oh, I see. Yep. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't want my medicine, but I do, kind of. I'll take it. You know, it's all a conspiracy, everyone's against me. Am I supposed to do something? I don't feel good, okay. We're just kinda sitting there for a minute. Oh, glob! Oh, glob! Oh! Oh goodness! Oh no, take her back to her room. <laughs> and nurse, don't let her take this ever again. I would like to avoid that as well. I don't like seeing all these body parts falling. Hmm. Beware, Franbo. Is that this dude talking? I don't know who's. I don't know who's talking. If you leave the house of madness. I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. I like to think that's him talking. The medicine will help you escape. <gasps> that's perfect. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. All right, Mr. Midnight. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. Man, poor Fran, yeah, chapter one, my sober day. She's kind of messed up. And if she really did see something less traumatic as like her parents being cut up, I don't blame her. That's awful. This is, yeah, is terrible. Why is there, who puts a picture of a clown in an asylum or wherever we are? That's, no, it's not a thing you do. I'm still here, hideous place. Oh, that's her brain. She's thinking it. I have to get out of here. Can I take this down, first of all? I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. I will get your nose. I will get... Okay, that's not anything anymore. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Okay, so case 2506-2009-15000. Fran Bo Dagenhart. Age 10. 10 years old. Okay. Female history. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Okay, so tragedy, pretty sure that really happened then. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Yeah, terrible. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Yeah, that would suck. What are you? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Anything else? One more time, la la la. It does the same as before, huh? She gets tired of it, but then, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to click on the occurrence, but I don't know. Uh, red and tiny and you are hiding from me. What? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Whatever. Uh, I hate the monster. I would hate it too. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. Meow! He hires because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show... What does that say? I can't say. Show me where he is. 
and tiny riding for me. I don't know what that means. I could still walk around and see what's on the other side. If I just open this. Oh, holy moly, something fell! A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Cool. Just examine, I guess. Can I examine that? A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Cool. Well, I don't need it yet. Um... What? I, okay. I go to the next scene, I guess, of that? That's interesting. Hello, boy! Hello, Phil! I knew his name. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Everybody says that I'm sick. Oh. I have to find Kitty now. Bye. Uh, oh, well, I have to find my kitty now. It's good talking. That was great. There's a doll. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Oh, let's not go there. So this is Fillmore Bronstone, age 8, gender male, history. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has the... The boy? Why capitalize the boy? Has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Deer. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Mm. Oh, wouldn't Mr. Horace, are you having a good time? There's a chest. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Can I examine it? A little box, it's open. I'll use it then. A key! This will certainly open something. Sweet, guys, I found a key. Uh, no. How do I... Oh, I just click that to close it. Okay. I'll check the chair. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? That is interesting logic, but okay. Like, I want to try that door, but I assume I want to check everything first, you know. My legs are just fine. That's good. Oh, it's creepy outside. Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Wouldn't be surprised considering it's all boarded up. Even though it's not boarded up there. I can't see through this window. There's yeah, the playground. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Okay. What about if I, what if I talk to her? Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Just yes. Three days, maybe. What? I was asleep for three days? Wow. Was it the medicine? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you were not taking it anymore. <laughs> I did something. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? What do you mean? Um... Um, uh, nothing. That's what I meant. Nothing happened. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Could I ask what she's... Okay, well, if it just gives me that option, sure. I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally? I have to fix this. Follow me. Ha ha ha! Now I can see what she's writing. She'd just go crazy if it touched anything. No! Read it! Read it! I got her away! Stop fidgeting and read it! Look at her dance, though. Isn't that nice? Okay, I guess we'll follow her. Hello? Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? See nothing, what's a hook? I don't even, like, have an option, to be honest here. Um, see nothing. No, miss, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Why are you mad? I guess I broke the currents. Now I can look outside. Oh, jeez. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it a defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay, so we're going that way. But first we have to actually get out. And I guess I'll just go through here. Of course it's locked. Ah, but I have a key. The key's too tiny. Oh. Hmm. Maybe not that then. Maybe something else. Would it fit in like the music box maybe? 
Not sure what to do with- Oh, duh! There's that little thing that's locked right here that rests suspicion. Yes, yes, I got it! And there's something inside! What? This one first. Oh, I look crazy. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes. Okay. And... George, oh, duh. I already put it here. And this. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Use with my hair. Now, I guess I'll go try to pick the lock. Can I do that? Maybe I'm skilled enough. I don't know. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Darn. I, I have a hook. Ah, the shape is not right. If I combine these two. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Well, I was thinking that maybe I could pick it somehow. There are two holes, but I don't have anything else. Here, maybe maybe he can help me. Let's just ask him straight up for a way out. Know any way out? You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. Hmm. Everything's locked. Yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed, but the office is the key. What do you mean? What do you mean the office is the key? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Oh. Oh, a secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? So he's paranoid. Him. Mm. Is he in the chair? Oh! Oh! All doors are closed, you're a prisoner of my games. I see. And nobody will help you escape. Delightful. Leave me alone, I hate you. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Okay. Well, I still have to go find another thing, but maybe now that the nurse is completely gone, I can actually read what's on her desk. Okay, well, there's this. Keep these patches to stop blood. You don't want any of that. This is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Uh, okay, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. Okay, <laughs> she only wakes up to drink water. But I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. I said, yeah. Um, some kids have come around and asked about her. And when she would come and... What? Or come out and play. Wait, eight and the H. Why are those circled? What? Eight and H? I don't know what that means. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild... Not necessary, comma. Can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. So frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, and temporal lobe. Yup. So just to check again, that was 8 and H. I don't know if that'll ever come in handy. But 8 and H. Empty bottle, empty glass, has nothing useful. I guess I should close it again then, right? Or I'll just leave it. I guess I'll just leave it. Alright, so what do I have now? I have tiny patches to cure wounds. Pills are inside, I know it. I have to crack the code. Hide. Okay, well, we know that 8 was H. So 9. A, B, C, D. Okay, D is for... Wait. Oh, yeah. Alright, I did it. The pills! Kitty told me these would help me. Sweet, I got the pills. Did it. See, I didn't think that it was just gonna be like A is one, B is two. I was I if I had like paid attention, I would have seen that, but I was just focusing solely on eight is H. And yeah. Oh, I don't have pills anymore. Did I just take them already? Weird. 
I still can't get out though, can I? Of course it's locked, and I can't like look out that window. If you sit down, eventually get up, so what's the point? What about you, bear? You hiding anything? Hope somebody loves you. Aww. Well? Still can't use that. And that's still not anything useful. Maybe look out the window again, now that I have the pills? No, it doesn't seem anything... It doesn't seem different at all. Do I want to put the box... I don't even have the box anymore, though, like... I'm glad... To, yeah, I just wanted to. But I didn't think about that. Uh, Can I turn pages here? No... But there's nowhere else that I can, like, click on things to pick up items as far as I'm aware. So I clicked on this, and that's nothing. And this doesn't do anything. Okay, what about are there ways that I can use different things? No, um, I'm just going to be, like, using everything here. Actually, what do you, what's the picture even about? Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. Like, why is that something in my inventory? How am I going to use that ever? I don't know what to do at this point. And there's nothing else in here. The drawer is empty. Can I, can I just claw the picture? Because it's a clown. Trying out things is good, but in this case, it won't do any good. Oh. The pills are in the bottom corner. It was not me. There are stairs. There's also a um, person in the window. People, sorry, in the window. And they have my head. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Is everything just different now? Who did it? I don't know. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Are these all changed too? Uh, blood. All these unhappy faces. Find him. Hmm. Everything is sad now. Everything is darkness. Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad! Oh. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Mm -hmm. You can see that I can. Can you see? Yes. Hi. Hello. Oh no, your head. It has fallen off, kind of. Okay. Oh yeah, the clown's gone. Hmm. Where did the clown go? I don't... Maybe downstairs. Hey. Oh. Get out, creepy creature. What about you? Hello, Miss Nurse. Well, I got this. Okay, that's only there. Is this is this just is she pretending all of this then? I'm imagining it, you know. I don't think it's intentional, but that wasn't there before. So I'm inclined to think it's not real. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. Oh, but she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. Is that Aunt Grace then? The reason is more than clear, Grace. Yep. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Friend's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh, no. Not my mental condition. Okay, get up. Get up. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Mm, hello, Mr. Fox. Oh, no. Foxy Fox, don't cry. We'll see, now my bed's back. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? This game is so weird. <laughs> okay, well, now that I have, um... I have these two things, I can actually get out. The hair clip and the sewing needle. Okay, do you want me to combine these two? Yes, you do. Okay. Did it! Yes, to happiness! What was that? Daddy was not there, mommy would not care. Still can't really see anything. 
Hey, you're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, brum. What about the bathroom? The king likes drawings. I don't... I don't like this either. Somebody wrote something here. Yup, let's let's go now. Don't know if you guys knew this, but mirrors kind of freaked me out in these settings. What? This wasn't here before. Do I have anything? Hook! Hook is bad at opening locks. Well, I don't really have any other options. I have this other door, actually, right? I think I came from this one. I don't know if you guys actually can see my mouse. I didn't think about that. No? Okay. That door, then. Hmm. Hello, friend. Friendly friend. Why do you look like a fabric doll? That's so weird. Still, just you can see. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Um, has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good for you. What's in here? I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. <laughs> How delightful. Okay. Where did the clown go? It's right. He's right there. He's in the box. Tiny, tiny hands all over you. Eating your soul. I can't even click on the rocking chair. I can't really click on anything here. Oh, wait. I didn't click on this middle bit yet. Which the mouse was just hovering over for a while. Even the pierced things die in this place. I can't open that. But there's not really, like, anything else for me to click on in this room. And this room was, like, the only thing that I had left well, to do anything, right? Would you like bandages? Um, it won't do. Clown, would you like bandages? Negative. Okay, maybe if I touch it, it will jump and scare me a lot. I guess that's true. Maybe if I hook it. No, this won't work, huh? So I can just take the pills off whenever. Okay, interesting. Hello. You see them, you do, right? Um, what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? Uh, no. Uh huh, I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. What are they? Tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. You're avoiding the question. I love it too. Sure, yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. Well, screw you. What is it? <laughs> My dreams. Go now. Oh, she, she just told me to leave. All right. Hmm, now I can click on the chair. I couldn't before. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Oh, let me see. Is there anything good? Nope. Well, what if I leave and then check the... I guess you kind of have to check everything. Oh, see, now I could go downstairs, but not in the pill form. Interesting. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know, because I locked it. Well, how did I get out then? It was open. Mm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Well, fine, but I'm not happy about it. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Wait, I'm just looking again? But that was my best bet. Man, I was making such good progress. How am I supposed to do things now? I mean, I could just grab the gun and force my way out, but that wouldn't be good. Oh, hello, doctor. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. My kitty told me to leave. He really needs me. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I'm um, not making up excuses. That's what really happened. Kitty told me, you know. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. You big people. 
Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. Well, at least I get to eat. Do I eat out here? So they make me go back to my room just to tell me that I shouldn't leave, and then I can leave. Okay. Kill out your girl!